Good morning to new students. I hope all is well. My name is Alyssa Machado and welcome back to Book Madness. Today is the final day and the two books competing are The Panda Problem, being read by Nathan Pachardo, and Don't Let the Picture Drive the Bus, being read by Gabriel Oliveira. I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Sid Deslot and Nathan has made it into the championship reading the book The Panda Problem. Hopefully he wins. I'm Nathan Pachardo and today I'll be reading The Panda Problem by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Hannah Marks. Once upon a time, there was a panda who lived in a beautiful bamboo grove, but the panda had a big problem. Nope. Excuse me? I don't have any problems. Lovely view, lots of bamboo to eat, sunny day, what could be better? Psst, this is a story. I'm the narrator and you are the main character. The main character? That sounds important. It is, but you need a problem. Why? So you can solve the problem. That's how stories work. So what's your problem? Do you want to go somewhere? Nope. Are you afraid of spiders? Nope. Do you need a friend? Uh, nope. Do you wish you could fly? Nope. Do you wish you were green? Nope. Is your paw sore? Oh, let me check. Nope. How am I supposed to tell a story if you don't have a problem? I don't know. Looks like you're the one with the problem, buddy. Hey, maybe you are the main character and I am your problem. What? Ridiculous. You're right. How could a sweet little panda like me be a problem? Unless... I started playing a banjo. Really badly? Hey, where did you get that? Brap, brap. And what if I hung upside down and sang the bamboo burp song? Bamboo brap, bamboo brap. You are definitely starting to feel like a problem. Great. And what if I started raining jelly beans? Now there's a problem for you. How will you explain that? Next time, I'm going to narrate a book about rocks. Nice, quiet rocks. And what if a bunch of aliens landed? How could you possibly tell a story about a burping panda and jelly bean rain and aliens? Aliens? There's no such thing as... Hi, aliens. And what if we built a boat and sailed to Antarctica? But the segment for the story is a bamboo grove. There are no penguins in bamboo groves. Okay, we got a main character. You and a problem, me. So what happens next? Well, sometimes the problem gets worse, but that won't happen now because things can't get any worse. Oh, can't they? What if suddenly they were two pandas? Wow, I'm tired and very hungry. Very hungry. I think we have a problem. Finally, what is it? I don't know. I'm too hungry to think straight. Good pretty glory. Hey, great idea, alien. Okay, narrator. If you get us home, we will stop making problems and help you tell your panda story. No banjos, no burping, no penguins. Really? Well, all right. Um, together, the pandas and aliens came up with a great plan. The pandas and aliens spelled out help with jelly beans. The alien ship scooped everyone up in a tractor beam. And dropped them safely back in the bamboo grove, where everyone settled down to a bamboo and jelly bean feast. What a satis satisfying ending. You know, I'm really t sleepy. Wake up, we need to help the narrator tell a story. We promised. That's okay, let's try again tomorrow. I'm sleepy too. Hey, why don't you tell me a bedtime story? Sure, we are story experts now. Once upon a time, there was a narrator. The narrator had a big problem. Nope. And that is The Panda Problem by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Hannah Marks. Hey, 
Hey guys, I'm one of the Pigeon's friends, and as you guys may know, Gabe has made it to the championship with the book Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, <laughs> Words and Pictures by Mo Williams. Hi, I'm the bus driver. <laughs> Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please, I'll be careful. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just one around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair, bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know? Fine. Let me drive the bus. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Hey. Thanks for watching me read Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus.